the archive of Pakistan is a cultural and um, educational uh, uh, non-profit in, which is operating in Karachi, Lahore, and Islamabad. And our focus is on not just culture and history, but our focus is on how we can find social cohesion using culture and history in order to disseminate our work out into the public arena. So I'm going to speak very little about what CAP does with a greater focus on what really we hope to achieve through the social media and the internet and such tools. Um, we seek to educate the community about our work, what we collect. We want to foster an awareness about <coughs> Pakistan's history <coughs> with the singular purpose of instilling pride in the Pakistani youth about who they are, where they come from, and what we believe in. As the Citizens Archive of Pakistan, we believe that history and culture belong to everyone, and everyone must have access to it. Thus, through all our projects, be it the oral history project, where we collect partition narratives and digitize old photographs, where we, um, the outreach tours, where we teach history in government schools and colleges in Lahore and Karachi, be it Exchange for Change, uh, the world's largest oral history exchange program that runs between Pakistani and Indian schools. <coughs> and at a time about 5,000 students communicate with each other on a weekly basis, be it any exhibition or event. The idea is to give everyone access to the history and culture. So whether we create postcards, bottom left, whether we put up photographic archives, uh, photographic archival material, which is top left, or be it our website, showcasing our various projects. The idea is always the same, to get it all out there. I do hope that in my lifetime, I do end up building the Living History Museum. That is what CAT really you know, envisions. That is what we really want to do, create a digital Living History Museum. But that's a very tall order. It's very expensive. And I don't know if it, if it will happen in my lifetime, at least. So in the absence of a permanent public space, we use everyone else's space as our space. So your Facebook space is my space when you click like. And therefore, the Vaga border is also my space every time I cross it with Pakistani students or Indian students. So the last time we were crossing the border, we decided to use that space as a public cultural space for expression and we decided to play the world's first cricket match in a no man's land. So that is literally a match between two countries. So it's cricket history, it's cricket history, and it is world history. Um, that particular photograph went up on Facebook and very popular, got tagged into very popular sites and pages and went on to uh, getting a short list at the Khan's uh, Lions Festival of Creativity last year. So whether it be a park or the Vaga border, an exhibition or Facebook, all of these are public spaces and they can be used as cultural spaces. And Cultural spaces such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, and so many more that maybe I haven't even explored those as yet, they all become avenues to put out your work and interact with people in more interesting ways. So it's not just putting my work out there and talking about what we do, it is about creating the work from that particular public space and putting it out in a education uh, in, in an educative manner, in a creative manner, and uh, in an artistic manner. So we both use both social media and electronic media. We rely very much through it. Uh, last year, we became the first Pakistani organization to work with Google Institute. Um, and that was one of our first exhibits up. It remains the first Pakistani exhibition. We hope more will follow to work with Google in Pakistan. This is just some material from Facebook for you, and just a glimpse of some of our 
candidates. Thank you so much for your time.